Work out. Very quickly, we'll move, we'll move on now. Uh, in December 2022, the headline inflation rate eased to 21.34%, compared to November 2022 headline inflation rate, which was 21.47%. Looking at the trend, December 2022 inflation rate showed a decline of 0.13% when compared to November 2022 inflation rate. However, on a year-on-year -year basis, the headline inflation rate was 5.72% points higher compared to the rate recorded in December 2021, which was 15.63%. This shows that the headline inflation rate increased in the month of December 2022 when compared to the same month in the preceding year, that's December 2021, of course. Meanwhile, month-on-month -month basis, the percentage change in the all items index in December 2022 was 1.71%. That was 0.32% higher than the rate recorded in November 2022, which was 1.39%. Likewise, core inflation stepped up from 18.24% to 18.49%. Inflation on imported food declined month on month to 1.47%, a reflection of a slight appreciation in the Naira in December. Well, I'd like to say, um, Ambrose, uh, what are your thoughts and um, is the market beginning to react to this figure? Actually, market is pretty difficult to call and we have seen the market number already, but I believe that what is happening at this point that you know, want to match what the market has gained yet to date. If you look at yet to date, it's still starting. The market is about uh, 2.6, you know, 8, I mean, 8, 6. And inflation is almost around uh, for the month for the month of December, you know, for the most year, year on year, around the uh, 21.34. Uh, for me, this is expected because, one, here we see the decline. Just following the trend, what we have seen globally. But the good thing that you look at is that the month of December that we saw the decline in, uh, in inflation, you look at the what we call the purchasing manager index for the last quarter of the year, we saw the you know, re expansion. That tells you that on an expected last quarter result for many companies that are into related business, that the season were in part, we expect to see a better number, which also boosts their performance, giving a, a better full year result for them. And if the earnings of this company or any yield is above this uh, inflation, for me, it's a good thing for the market. But if you look at other investment window, because I tell you that in any market, Know, interest rate move from around, but also you want to you know bench your return with what what inflation is in any economy in any environment. Now that we are seeing inflation already around them, you know, 21.34, and what is the rate coming from this market? The average dividend yield in equity market is around the six to seven percent, or average. Why some stock has having a two digit yield, 11, 13, and 14. 14 is the highest, but if you look at the other, other instrument. I think the highest is about 12. Why? For treasury bills, almost like a 9.3, uh, 7.3 percent. You can see that you know, we see more opportunity in equity market because of the time, the time horizon is short for you to make that a uh, yield. And also, if the company surpasses their performance, you know, we see also secondary capital appreciation at the same time. You know, for me, I see that inflation is not having a negative impact much on the performance of the market in terms of football, in terms of company performance. Go to the forward, we look at go up, see where to get already. We're looking for the results for you know, uh, for December 2022. We want to see another fresh one in 2023. But I believe that the results that come to the market, as I largely said, this season is what we call them. Um, you know, dividend uh, hunting. Everybody is looking for dividend for this. But I believe that this will guide my board on the other investment window. If you have below the inflation, you're already in red. For me, equity is more better than looking closer world to inflation. If you have capital appreciation, you can even earn above inflation. All right, that's a good one. Uh, I mean, that's something you always talk about anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Kufi, uh, on one hand, some analysts have attributed a decline to price resistance on the part of consumers who demanded less food and discretionary items than they usually would in the festive period. And then on the other hand, we have some analysts thinking it's a bleep, which is a temporary change that does not have any special meaning. What are your thoughts? Well, I, I align with those analysts that they say that uh, due to the change of the behavior, because quite a number of the, our people who normally travel for the for the festivity, many of them decided not to travel because of the cost of oil. Now that the officially the government have increased the price of oil, even in Lagos you see the price is skyrocketing. I want you to mean the magic that reduced by the inflation will not last. Because once you touch oil, you touch everything. Transportation and all other things will be affected. And in view of this, I'm saying that I agree with those analysts that that setback is just temporary 
the regulation will still come to run again because of the cost of the transportation, particularly the PMS. All right, I guess uh, Ambrose definitely agrees with you. But Charles, uh, can you confirm if you can hear me, Charles? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, quickly, let's have your thoughts on the inflation. Do you also believe it's a blip? I mean, it's not real. It's just something that just happened, yes. a flash in a pan. I think I agree with what I do say. It's just a flash. Because if you look at um, December, you will agree with me that most of the things that we needed to do in December, most of us cut, cut down, even more, more than 50%. Like uh, my dad said, people do not even travel. So many things, you know, people have to explain to their children. And we saw that, yes, the festivity was very, very light. Yeah. Of course, I will not blame them because they have listened to iBrand TV. That my segment on personal finance, how to spend during the uh, festive period. Amazing. People were cautious in terms of All right. I, I their the spending. Okay. Again, it's because of their purchasing power. So that was why we saw a slight reduction. But I assure you, in this January, we are going to see the inflation rate go up again because food prices. In fact, as I speak to you now, I'm in my village, and I can tell you that the farmers are not planting. They said there are no cassava stem. And once they are not planting now, the rains will soon start. If they don't clear their farmland, they don't, they don't plant, of course, you will see price of food items going up. And of course, like um, my dad had said, once you touch transportation, you touch food item, of course, inflation will go up. But my advice would be Cut your coat according to your pocket, not your size, Mr. Maran, for you to take care of um, inflation and move along. All right. Thank you so much. Very quickly, Ambrose, I'd like to get your thought. Uh, I mean, you were agreeing with both of them. Yeah, I said it in one of the programs that they're seeing this uh, number. Well, and earlier, I said that this uh, December figure for me is expected to be in the up direction. But seeing it coming down, I told you that it's surprising at the same time that if month on month is still high, can accommodate it. You can see that the expectation is almost the same line. One, because December is a period of you no know, people spend much, but as you said, the reduced report, as far as we're able to you know, get fair around you know, 280, 300 as a December, now officially if they hike the price again. That means, you know, for my friend that came from uh, East today, he said they are buying almost 400, 500 over there. You can see this is going to, you know, it's a triple effect on everything in the market. It's like you want to move your goods from your, your, your locality to the town because then you want to put that cost on what on the thing you are selling and that will move the price of that For me, inflation in the month of January, ideally, before I look at the trend in Nigeria, January is the time you see inflation slowing down after first period. But now, we're going to say reverse because it's slowing down in December, then in January, we're going to say, for me, investors should also factor into what, into the decision as they're going forward into the new year. But I believe that I said earlier, this season is any season all eyes on what on what I will end in this short period and take it as what are the sectors we should be looking at? Yeah, no, for me, this one will affect the end because the, when you are expecting stuff for financial end of December, this figure will see more impact. No, I'm saying going forward. Going forward. For me, if you look at the sectors where we expect that we go in and book what is that, especially the oil sector will still continue to lead because the, what is happening in Ukraine and Russia has not started coming down. Unless tomorrow we'll see that mm -hmm. they are going to peace. That means that sector will be a sector you look at. Also, the banking sector, as far as the activities of you know, MP uh, MPC and NPR remain where it is now, I still to see them also performing very well. And also, one thing that is very, very important that as far as oil price is you know, up and those sectors doing well, the exposure of the banks in terms of uh, bad loan has also reduced. That was also going to impact the, you know, the bottom line of the bank at the end of the day. For me, I see that sector was also a really good one for them to look at. And also, as we speak now, despite the market has moved up, price of goods in banking stock are still cheap. For investors, I also don't forget in the history of our market, you know, the most consistent dividend paying sector is that sector. Now that we're seeing telling coming coming up powerfully, advertisers are coming up, but investors that that is the tools that the market before now, they will just leave it because there's still what opportunity there. All right. Uh, just before we we'll go, uh, I mean, just before we leave this particular topic, Mr. Kofi, talk to us. What are your expectations from the next MPC meeting? I have said that they will return on the parameters. In view of the fact that there is change of the currency, we are expecting more deposit into the bank. And when they have more deposit into the bank, that will enable the bank to reduce the cost of the fund. I hope that all parameters will be retained but they will watch out what the inflation is likely going to do by the end of January so that they can decide much. But for now, I expect all things being equal, the parameter will remain the same. All right. Thank you so much.